This is how to create your own cutscene in Roblox Studio. Just like this, as you can see, camera moves, animation plays, and it ends. First, we want to go up to Avatar, Rig Builder, and then click R6, and then Block Avatar. Move it to where you want your cutscene to be playing. Then, in Workspace, add a folder, rename it to Camera. Add in a part, rename it to Cutscene Trigger. Inside of this part, add a proximity prompt. Set the action text to whatever you want. I'm just going to name it start. You can also change any of the properties here, such as the activation key code, whatever. You can also do it if it has a hold duration. So if you have to hold it or you just press it. Move this part to where you want the, uh, the button to be. Make sure it's anchored. You can also remove transparency if you want. Now we're going to add the cameras. Add in a part, move it rename it to cam1 then if you right click it and then do show orientation indicator then make sure you point that at the rig put the camera where you want the camera to be again make sure it's anchored and you can turn off collision and also you can turn off transparency or you can turn on transparency actually now I'll just duplicate this one part a few times put it around the thing the rig put it around the rig to where you want the cameras to be make sure it's pointing at the rig just like this, so do a little bit of that. Okay, so we have all our four cameras here. They're all named camera one, as you can see. We just gotta rename these to the different numbers as we want them to play in. So camera one, it'll be the first camera our camera goes to, and then camera two will go to that one next, and camera two will go to that one next, and so on. So we're gonna rename this one to camera two. This one, camera three, one, camera Four. This is scalable by the way, so you can have as many as you want. Now just put all these cameras into the cameras folder we made earlier. You can turn off these in it is now. Now before we start scripting, I'm just gonna quickly create a quick animation for the rig here. Once you've created your animation, go over to here, set priority to whatever you want. So I'm gonna do action, then publish it to Roblox. Call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna do cuts scene tutorial animation press save make sure you copy this animation id right here because this is very important in replicated storage and an animation object then add your animation id in starter player go to starter player scripts add a local script rename this local script to cut scene play first we're going to add tween servers then we're going to add our proximity prompt, so workspace, with child, not in, trigger, with child, proximity prompt. Then we're going to get our rig, local rig, workspace, with child, rig, or whatever you called it in the workspace, or wherever you put it. And we're going to get our player, so local player, equal to game, dot players, dot local player. Then we're going to add a function, local function play rig animation then do local track equals to rig dot humanoid dot animated load animation game get service rep is storage dot animation then do track play then do function stop rig animation then do track stop and track remove remove now do prox dot triggered connect function player or well we're gonna rename player like that and we're gonna do if player equals equals to player then we're gonna play the rig animation and we're gonna go local cam equals to workspace dot current camera i'm gonna go local cameras equals to workspace dot cameras get children then we're gonna do cam dot camera type equals to enum dot camera type dot scriptable and we're going to do a for loop so for i equals to one comma hashtag cameras two we're going to do it local tween equals to ps create cam tween info dot new one so we're going to do a ending workspace do that camera cam dot dot i and play actually not play not play then we're going to do tween play tween dot completed wait now we're gonna do the very end bit here so camera type equals to enum dot camera type dot 
custom and we're going to sculpt the rig animation that's going to do that and this should be it we test play this we go over it start oh oh i know why i know why i know why. i'm going to add over here dot c frame now test this as you can see it's working just like that we do it again boom and that is how to make a cutscene very short cutscene in robots